I think they may have missed me a little bit. Hey guys, this is Alicia Costanza. Welcome back to my channel, and I am on week four of Camp NaNoWriMo. I'm starting with 82,000 words, and I'm way farther than I thought I would be in this book, meaning way more words than I thought I would have, and not anywhere closer to the end than I need to be yet. <sighs> yep, that's where I'm starting. Still, if I get this done by the end of July, I will be a happy camper. Um, so yeah, it is almost 7.30. I'm gonna get started. So I got 170 minutes. Yay. I'm going to bed. So... What did I get today? So I got 90 minutes in today, which not so bad. Uh, wish I'd gotten more, but it's, it was one of those days, so... Brain's not really working, I only got a whopping 269 words. Mm. I'm tired. The last couple days I've gotten a lot of words in, and I'm just kind of... stuck. Yeah. I'll get back to it tomorrow and keep hitting it a couple words at a time until it's done because that's how I work. So, alright. See you tomorrow. I got 140 minutes written today. <sighs> I'm closing in on 1,000. Only 8 days left. And look at that. Mm -mm. Honesty time. I wish this thing was done. I'm tired. I want Camp NaNoWriMo to be over. Go back to my 500 words a day. This is killing me. Yep. Yep. So I made it to a live write-in and got 65 minutes, and I passed my 85,000 word mark. So, I'm struggling with intimate scenes, and I'm sorry because the lighting's bad over here. The talking and slow bits have always been a struggle for me, which is why I usually have action, 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 action. And I just made it to the chapter that prefaces my third act and the big action. So, time to break my character open. Let her explode all over the place. I've been channeling her pretty heavy. I was her in my dream last night where I worked slash lived slash went to school at Target. But I was also a, like a Buffy badass. Standing up to people and you know, kicking ass, taking names, etc. I think she's telling me to push for it and just get it over with. So I'm gonna work on it. Taking a break, got my coffee. Gonna go into the out with my husband for a few minutes and come back, well, make dinner and then come back and get my next hour and a half in because that's what I need to catch up, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I had a meeting with uh, Joyce, who I'm doing a cookbook for, formatting, and a uh, website, and a cover for her, and it was a lot of fun to see how excited she got. And she's like, oh my god, it's coming together. I like to say we're putting the finishing touches on. I'm like, yes, Joyce, we're getting there. Soon you'll have a real book in your hand to look at again. So I'm pretty excited. 
I'm pretty excited for her and I've got notes to go through so I'm going to be doing that this weekend in conjunction with my time edits in um, Inferno. And I did 1,559 words yesterday for 150 minutes I think I got, something like that little extra to try to catch up a little bit. But I just killed somebody and it feels like it went too quickly. Like. Some of the build-ups there, but saying that she fought and she punched and, and that type of thing just isn't cutting it at the moment. But I don't know what else to do at the moment. Uh, I had an idea and I wrote it down somewhere. Now I just gotta find where I wrote that little piece of paper down amongst my desk. And if you've seen it, it's pretty atrocious. So, yay. I think I actually wrote that down while I was in New York. So it might be somewhere in my things still that I haven't unpacked. I got one box left. Um, but yeah, I am going to do a few things. I contacted a new cover artist to redo my covers for my Blood Phoenix series. So, I'm super excited about that. Gotta send him an email. I got a draft to do. And then I'm going to get back into writing. So, wish me luck. Awkward. So hey guys, I just finished up a few stories. You'll see that I did five I went through that I read and I'm just reading right now. I'm supposed to be editing as I go for the time stories, but at least I have five already edited. I know which ones I need to edit next and as soon as I'm done with camp. done with camp I'll be able to actually get in there and edit those which is fine still on schedule for that so no worries there I also just did an hour and a half on the cookbook which you'll have seen I am just putting in her notes and fixing things up and making sure everything looks okay before we do the proof copy in which I'm going to upload it and have her have a physical copy in her hands which she's so excited about then I get to start making a website lots of things to get done before school starts in August so excited. Anyways, I'm going to go into the out with my husband and take a break and I'm going to come back and get some writing done before I have to make dinner at 7. Yeah. Wish me luck. See you in a bit. So I'm finally at the chapter where I have to kill uh, one of my big characters and the adrenaline is going nuts. Uh, I've killed big characters before but this is, I don't know, this is a scene I had been thinking about for a long time and now that it's here 
I'm getting the, mm, you know, do I really have to kill him? Yes, I really have to kill him. But do I really have to kill him? Yes, I really have to kill him. <sighs> no, I just gotta do it. People are gonna be mad at me. Alright. I need to stop pouting and just do it. Yeah, I've had to revert to wine. I'm trying not to freak out. But the anxiety. Oh, God. So I just looked up uh, the seven laws that Faya has for this world, and one of the number six is non human kills are not allowed and to kill another paranormal being without permission from Feya is punishable by death. And that's what Rhea just did for the second time. First one was self-defense, very clearly. Uh, even though she kept it a secret, she got punished for that. And now James tried to hide it for Rhea, so I think... I don't think it's going to be as crazy as originally I thought it was going to be, but I do think it will still have the same emotional truth to it that I intended originally. And I mean, I first thought of this scene three or four years ago, so... Alright, let's see if I can do this. Wine to make me brave. Wine to make me brave. Someone's going to die. Someone good is going to die. Someone important and good is going to die. So, book four ending climax. Here I come. These black ones have just come out. And because I was having so much trouble fitting them out in the first place, it's nice to just realize it's not as scary as I thought. So, anyways, good distraction. So has she learned her lesson? And is going to actually tell Faye the truth in which she'd get punished for or does she clam up because of old habits haven't broken far enough yet? And this gets so-and-so killed. I think the second makes more sense. But being honest could get her killed too. I don't know if she's grown that much. Or changed that much from torture things. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. It's the end of the book, so it's my last five chapters, and I suck with endings. Well, I don't know if I suck at endings, but I hate endings, so... Is, am I overthinking this because of that? I want to finish this by the end of the month. I mean, I do, right? I do. So what's keeping me from... I don't want to kill him. I hurt him so much. gone by the way already. I'm only written half a page. To have her tell the truth? Or not to have her tell the truth. So, through the story so far, and especially the second half of it, um, all of Rhea's secrets from the first three and a half books have tumbled out into the open, and the Queen now knows. Nearly everything that she's been trying to hide, well, the person she just killed would be a new secret if she doesn't tell. So has she learned her lesson? Alicia, I just had an idea. <laughs> yeah. He's dead. I had a little bit of tears going on, to be honest. Steffi knows because of it, but... He's done. He's gone. Man. I might need a break. <laughs> so real quick, look at how close I am. Look at this. Alright, let me put my my mouse over here. Look at how close 
I got to my goal. I'm getting there. <clears throat> I'm getting there. And look. I've already got gotten 15 words at Sunday today. But look at that. How little I have left. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that. What the fuck? I didn't record yesterday, so let me wrap up what happened yesterday. I got, like... 1100 words yesterday, which is really cool. I ended up getting a couple chapters in the last few days and I have two and a half chapters left until I'm done with my book and I'm trying not to freak out about it. I mean, it's a good thing. I'm excited, but the end of the book crazies is, is on me because endings are, I'm a cliffhanger ending writer, especially since I write short stories too, and I think they fit better with short stories. My first book was a major cliffhanger, a lot of my readers said. Book two wasn't quite so bad, book three actually wasn't a cliffhanger. But endings aren't my my strongest suit in longer works because I know there's more story to come, and so I can only wrap up so many things, and I did have an epiphany yesterday though. So my outline's pretty sparse. I've talked about that before, it being vague, and I don't really know what the details are, but I know something like this is supposed to happen. Well, I missed something. I built Scarlet up a whole lot, and I didn't... Who's uh, the Fairy Queen? She's the Scarlet Queen, the Bloody Queen. She's killed, like, three-quarters of her people. Um, she didn't appear in the last four chapters, and... You can't have one of the big bads not appear in the last four chapters. She has to have some type of ending. So I've got it. I don't have it exactly, but I've got it. So I'm excited about that. But So let's wrap this up. Let me give you my end of the week stats. So my total word count for the week is 6830. Almost 7k again. That's out. Like, who is this person right here? I don't write that much in a week ever ever. My total minutes are 995 out of 840, so I made up a lot of those minutes. I'm only 105 behind now, so... And yeah. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here so that I can start my last weekly nano writing vlog thingy. I'm good with words, really. Alright guys. Let me know in the comments below how you're doing, if you'd ever try Camp NaNoWriMo or any of the other NaNoWriMo's. There's like three, I think. I can never do November because I teach and that's like heavy grading season. doesn't work. So, uh, what type of goals do you have writing, reading, creative related? Let me know. Alright, thanks for watching guys.